Yo! What up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. We are out here. Dove hunting is gonna fire up very, very, very soon. Just in a handful of days. And your boy, yeah, got bored. Um, just got back from North Dakota honkers. Hope you guys are enjoying those videos. Uh, but you guys are also liking my prep videos, whether it's planting millet for the ducks or getting ready for dove. We do have dove clients coming in. Uh, if you're wanting to get in on it, it's full lodging, two to three days of hunting, your choice, uh, but we're mowing. I was headed, I came here to mow the pond, but as I pulled in, this two track road, uh, just grass up against our beans here, I lease all of this field for uh, goose and duck hunting. I spooked up probably 50 to 100 dove right here. So I already just got done mowing that bad boy for them dove. And right up here in front of the truck, there is a mud water hole where the dove are getting a drink. And I'll show you the pond where also they are getting a drink in the corn and everything else. Exciting, exciting. Hunting season's here, baby. There's a dove. Dove just landed right where I got done mowing right there they've been around me the entire time mowing but real quick today's video is brought to you by the one the freaking only dude shots ammo cannot say enough good things about shots a brand new company amazing guys this is their still load their three inch number two and it is ounce and three eighths if you haven't watched the honker hunt yet the first one that i uploaded from north dakota uh the, it was the first time using these on large birds being honkers number twos you do not need bb's they sell bb your boys always like the twos smacked them absolutely smacked them the first shot i took the owner of shots came and hunted with us that day i looked at him i was like brian holy crap ounce and three eighths 1500 feet per second but this load right here look at that high brass Look how tall that brass is on there. This is called their eight shot steel, eight shot pulverizer, okay? It has over 1,100 BBs in this bad boy, three inch, 1,100. My buddy Cole used this on the honkers. I didn't get a chance to, I didn't have it by then. And it puffed them birds. He shot two at 35, 40 yards and it destroyed them. Honker. So you imagine how good it works on dove, pheasant, ducks, lesters, cacklers, speckle belly, snow geese. Yeah, it's got a clear cap on the end. It's not the normal crimp system. This cap allows extra load capacity, y'all. This is also an ounce and three eighths, just by the way. 1500 feet per second, the eight shot pulverizer, guys. They are priced very very competitive price they do not break the bank and also all of my subscribers you have a special code to use it's always the same no matter what i am advertising or who i'm working with code bob at checkout shots ammo uh shots ammo is always linked down below in the description use code bob it will save you some money try this new shot out you guys are going to love it i would not back this company if i did not believe in it and I truthfully believe that it is, in fact, on my family, I promise you, the best steel three inch load that I have ever shot. Give it a try. It is, uh, it's very comparable to all the other major brands. The price is not more. It's probably cheaper to be honest. I need to go look, but it is probably cheaper, especially with using code Bob. Always link down below, guys. Thank you. Let's get on the old mower. Get back to the pond. Hopefully, I make it and I don't bury this thing in some mud. Almost there. Almost there. Quite a ways back here. These are the marks, the tracks that I drove my side by side in on. And We got big problems, boys and girls. We, I knew that, so before, right before I left, we got two inches of rain overnight. And then when I was gone, we got another rain. And if y'all remember, not too long ago, I brought y'all here, three teal getting out of here. We got a big issue. The last time you were here, like I was saying, um, the pond was down about a foot. Now look, 
that's the normal pond. It has flooded all of everything I was going to mow. So this is all flooded. Therefore, it's not mowable. I'm going to go to that end and see if it's flooded. That sucks. That's cool. That's obviously really cool. But that also sucks for the dove hunting on the beach. Let's make our way over that way and see if it's any different. Whew. Okay, well, a little light at the end of the tunnel. This side isn't as flooded back off of the pond. Check it out. Did come up about 10 yards from the edge of the pond there to about here this is about the flood line here so all of this weeds this is the reason why i want to mow this side because of this sandy sandy beach if y'all know anything about doves even geese in general um, when they're using a pond any of them for a drink they love sandy beaches love it all this stuff needs to be like drug and raked out. I'd love to have this sandy, sandy white beach, this whole deal. It would really add a lot to this pond. So we're going to help look. Speaking of the devil, look at that. Two doves. Yeah, there's a bunch of doves. All the crop around this entire pond, you can see it. See it, see it, see it over there. It's all corn, dry land corn that's almost, <clears throat> almost ready to cut and harvest. So when that gets cut, there's gonna be four, six, ten times as many doves. So just wanna get this cleared out and give them a, a resting place to get their grit and a drink. So let's hop on the old mower, give her a whirl, see what happens. stuck I knew it I pushed it a little too far shoot well I'm gonna gather some limbs stick under these tires see if I can get it out if not I'm gonna have to walk all the way back to the truck go home get my side by side and pull it out oh no it's barely off of the beaten path so Oh, here's some. I'm going to round up a bunch of this stuff. Right before that happened, I'm like, Bob, you're pushing a little too close to the mud. Sure enough. It's barely there. We just need to get to about here. <laughs> no. No. You would think by 37 I'd learn my lesson with this type of stuff. Oh, my goodness, Bob. You really did it this time. All right. Went and got a bunch of branches, shoved them under the tires. If I can come straight back, hopefully I can get out of it. If I can get to here, I'm good. Here's the other tire. I gotta get out of that groove. Come on, smash the thumbs up button for your boy. I need some help. Give it a whirl. My goodness, Bob. I'm not the brightest guy sometimes. <laughs>
Okay, we're almost there. I need to move some of these branches. Get me some traction coming on back on this side. That gone. Hopefully this is it. Come on, baby. There's a thumbs up for old Bob. Boom, baby. Thank God I worked on a farm for a while. Grabbing them branches. Oh. The mower's completely smoked in mud, though. That's not good. All right, let's finish our job. All right, we are done. This is, that is as much as I can do without getting stuck again. I'm not doing it. This is uh, the east side. Got a lot done, probably about a hundred yards. All done, mowed all the way down. This is uh, Bob's accident of the day area. Not gonna do that again. But um, I think a lot of this, if we get some good wind, now that I got all this mowed down, a lot of these leaves and stuff should blow out of here and we'll have some good beachy area. I know a lot of the doves are roosting in these trees around the pond. So, it's out of work. Jeez. Huh. The shit I do to, uh, to create better hunting opportunities. Uh, I'm just glad I got out of that mess because I would have had to walk all the way to the truck, go get the side-by-side, -side, pull it out, go take the side-by-side -side back home on the, on the trailer because it's not big enough for the side-by-side -side and the mower. Come back and get the mower. We made it happen. All right, next spot. This spot is a very, very, very important spot. You guys will know why when I pull up to it. Let's get this bad boy unloaded. All right. Boy, was that a poop show if I've ever seen one back there. You know what what would have been a lot worse um i was originally yeah the trailer's broke she's been a decoy trailer for some time and she ain't looking too healthy she needs some help um i was originally planning on taking the tractor we have a small kubota medium size actually kubota tractor y'all seen it in some videos ago a few ago handful ago ten ago uh if i would have taken that down there and got it stuck that would have been real bad but let's give this one a whirl yeah big water real big water this is one of uh, the sand pits I lease and uh, obviously you can see a lot of it. good vegetation has been established now I'll get off and show you what we're about to do good vegetation now these weeds are perfect we are not gonna touch these weeds as you can see about, it's about 15 yards from the beach now. This is where we will hide lay down blinds. We used to run A-frame blinds way back there and it was just too far of a shot to the edge of the water. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna leave this big patch of weeds and these are volunteer cottonwood trees that the owner does not want here and I don't either because let's see, we got a lot more vegetation out here. When this beach is sandy, just sand, no vegetation, probably gonna have to spray some of this, I would imagine. Uh, the geese love using this. They love beaching here, sunbathing on the sand. And that's when we hunt it, is when they gather up here on their midday routines and sunbathe here. So we're gonna mow the beach line and we're gonna mow all these volunteer cottonwoods, this whole strip of them here and leave our good hide for the hunting. Let's get after it. All right, let's roll, boys.
Look how much better that looks. Like I said, this is our hide. And now we got a nice beach. Look at that. That's how it's supposed to look right there, baby. Yeah, yeah. All the way to the water. The edge of the water is really hard. Nice packed sand. I was able to put the tire, edge of the tire right here. This is nice. Very, very nice. So now the next step will be the owner of the sand pit. He's probably going to let this dry up a little bit after, you know, some heat and no more rain. He's going to bring his big skid steer down here. Front loader, I should say. He's going to move all this, get this vegetation uprooted so it goes back to pure sand. And that will help a ton. Over in that corner is where we've had to hunt a lot of times. And as you can see, this is a point in a peninsula. And I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but underneath the water, it's a sandy peninsula that it stays really shallow about 15 yards out there. And we're always able to put floaters. See how shallow this is? It's shallow, extends, the shallowness extends way out there. We run floaters way out there like that. And it lets us, it allows us to get our decoys way out there in the water and look much much more realistic um, we were having to do that because all of our vegetation and hide back here was gone last year we didn't have a hide and uh, so we were uh, running all of our hunts out of here out of all this vegetation and the the bad thing is you only have about five foot not even five yards of shallowness and then it absolutely just drops off so this is going to be freaking so weak. All right, hopefully this thing works. Five fifty minimum charge. What? A mess seems like i'm always getting myself in a mess especially when i'm by myself with a cool idea just like that uh normally you know i would never have to worry about the rain not at all actually much better just brought the camera from inside the ac and when you do that when it's humid like this the lens just goes Phew. you actually got to sit it outside and let it warm up so it stops doing that but as i was saying uh ramping up Gerald will be here uh, tomorrow, being Monday. Uh, by the way, I hope you guys are getting ready for dove season. Uh, that's what we're about to do. He's going to come here tomorrow. Uh, we're going to start on all of the decoy unpacking of trailers, repacking. Probably get two trailers fully loaded uh, for the start of duck goose guide season. We don't fire up guiding until basically November. Uh, November 2nd, 3rd, whatever that's going to be. Uh, I believe it's a third um, But do a lot of maintenance out back gonna bring you guys along gonna make a big Decoy prep video lodge prep video number one uh, Kind of get a lot of that stuff done before our dove clients come in uh, The day before September 1 last day of August and we will start guiding dove September 1 one thing I want to notify you guys, I hope you read the text when I was talking about Shots Ammo. Guys, um, it is a two, three, four man band over there. Uh, they are fairly, you know, fairly a new company, but what I'm getting at is the, the shells are quality. They are all human touched by hand, let me get this right, <coughs> multiple times in the production, okay? They are very quality. When, the first time I shot them, I knew I knew I was like wow these are definitely the hardest hitting shells I've ever I've ever tried number one uh, but if you go over there and you use code Bob you are gonna get prompted that uh, it will be a couple weeks before you receive them that is because of production rate right now they are in process of buying a massive new automated uh, loading machine um, it is coming from overseas it's from like Switzerland something like that when they get that production rate will go up but just know the quality of what you're purchasing is grade a okay so if you're purchasing now 
um, you're not going to need them for a couple, two, three weeks anyways. You know what I'm saying? Especially for big duck, big goose. So get them now before they get real backed up on orders. Again, use code Bob. It not only helps me out, but it helps you guys out saving some money. The price point is on. It's perfect. You can go and compare their price to any of the other brands and you will be like, wow better try them out you need to try them out if you're one of them guys like me that really gives a, a poop about what you're shooting you will not be i mean you will not be let down with shot sammo give them a shot they are always linked down below thank you all for being here i have one more hunt from north dakota that's going to come at y'all next probably and then the dove hunting fires up thank you all for being here but until next time